Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless dream for you guys. So let's see what is coming up for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. How are you guys? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on this video. Let's see what is coming through for you. I'm taking the cards that fall on the table, upright, specifically. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was fast. Guys, if you're not a part of the Pisces Club just yet, I invite you to subscribe. And I also want to thank you all for your donations. And for all of you who are buying online courses, I'm so excited for you. I hope they really serve you. All of the information is always going to be under this video, in the description box. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Pisces. All right, let's start with this. We've got the King of Pentacles, we've got the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, the Knight of Pentacles, hmm, Four of Coins, King of Cups, Eight of Coins, and Ace of Pentacles. Alrighty, Pisces. Let's see what's up. So first, there's definitely a Earth sign here, most likely for many of you. A Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. This person... In the past, perhaps, didn't necessarily treat you right. Maybe this was a romantic interest. Maybe this was someone from work. Maybe this was a friend. But this person kind of like said one thing and did the other. Sneaky energy, trying to get away with something, trying to um, gaslight you, confuse you. It could be a Earth sign for some of you, as I mentioned, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But for others, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Don't get too um, hang hung up on the sign, because honestly, it could be any sign. That's really not what matters most. What matters is that you can identify that person by the information that I'm giving you. So they were sneaky in the past to you. They wanted their way, you know? their way or the highway and it was a highway eventually and I feel like Pisces you have definitely taking a turn you have taken a turn and you're focusing more on your money and your pentacles than anything else at this time and when I mean money and pentacles, pentacles um, represent everything that is associated with the physical realm. So not only money, um, it's also career, um, your job, whatever it is, your physical body, the physical resources that you have at home, you know, your actual place of, of living. It's all the physical. So we have here the eight of coins and we have the ace of coins and the four of coins. So definitely there's a lot of earthy energy. Maybe right now you are wishing to feel very grounded. You feel like that would be very beneficial to you to be grounded, maybe within your body, maybe within your routine, maybe within your habits. You're working really hard, Pisces, or you're desiring to work really hard. And something that is important to you could be a new business venture for some of you, a new idea, something that's starting right now. I'm getting that you had the idea a while back, but only now you're actually like bringing it into reality. That's That goes for some of you, not for all of you. But for others, you're working really hard on making sure that the seeds that you have already planted in the past continue to grow and grow and grow. You are um, kind of like nurturing these seeds through different levels. So like level one is already done, completed, and now they're growing into level two or level three, or they're just 
um, blooming with flowers at this point. It's like every bit of the journey is um, different in its own way. But you are definitely allowing these projects, ideas, work that you're focusing on, you're allowing it to grow. And you're kind of like supervising it, making sure that it grows. Now, there's also a very feminine energy here. With the King of Cups, I see this bottle called Calming Tonic, right? King of Cups is emotion, intuition, magic, the mastery over our emotions, ourselves. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energies, very mysterious, very deep, watery, sensual energies. And the fact that it says calming, I feel Pisces like you're taking a step back. Or you have for a while, because I know that I've mentioned this before. You have taken a step back and you're kind of like dropping into your heart. You're allowing your day to be more heartfelt what you do, when you do it, how you do it, it's what feels right. Or you're very inclined to listen to that. And when you have to do things that you really don't want to do, it's harder for some reason. Like it's not flowing as easily because it's like you want to be aligned with your heart's desire at every minute. And therefore you are in result coming into this very gentle feminine energy of enjoying the softness, the beauty, the scent of your home. And since you are so attractive right now with this feminine energy, Pisces, you're so alluring, you're so magnetic, there's a knight of coins here that is looking at you. And I say that they're looking at you because the image is facing that way. The Knight of Coins tends to be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, or someone who right now is taking their sweet, sweet time on something. So this could be a person who is, in some cases, stuck. In other cases, this could be someone who is moving so slowly that it seems like they're not moving at all. Now, that can be good, that can be bad, depending on the situation, of course. Um, the Knight of Coins, or the Knight of Pentacles, from all the Knights in the Tarot, he's the one that, before, you know, going full speed ahead, he actually thinks about what he wants to do. He actually thinks about where he wants to go. So that might take him a minute, and all the other Knights may just sprint into action, but he's the one that, that, that makes the least mistakes because of that. All right, so there is value, obviously, in taking a, pa a pause, a moment, and thinking about things. So that's what he's doing. I feel like there's an earth sign here who wants to be with you, but he or she is embarrassed for maybe some kind of betrayal that they um, brought to you in the past. There's an Aries energy here, possibly too. Um, the Emperor. So with the Emperor here, you have a lot of very masculine energy. You have the King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Cups. All of this is a very masculine energy. Like male characters in your life for some of you. Pisces, I feel like sometimes you have a little bit of a struggle balancing the feminine and the masculine. Sometimes you're so masculine. You want everything done now. You want fast movement forward. You want success, results. You want them now. And you're not afraid to do what it takes to get there, right? But at other times, it's like you're in this feminine, more relaxed, more um, sensitive energy. But I feel like when you're in your feminine, you're always kind of like, I should be doing more. I should be, I should be, I should be. So take this as an opportunity to kind of like 
check yourself. Like, make sure that when you're being feminine, when you are in moments of rest, of space, of calm, meditation, spirituality, um, feminine activities. And when I mean feminine activities, I'm not speaking about, like, women activities. <laughs> Every human has feminine and masculine energy. The feminine energy is receptive, whereas the masculine is um, directed outward. So, basically, the masculine is what you do. And the feminine is kind of like what you receive or allow or flow. So make sure that when you are doing feminine things like relaxing, meditating, doing self-care, um, I don't know, looking out the window, having a cup of coffee or tea, or just enjoying the moment, make sure that you're enjoying the moment. And don't let your tendencies of masculine energy to come in and tell you you should be doing this you should be doing that you should be you should be you should be because in some shape or form it's like you are neg negating that that feminine sacred energy because you feel like that is just present when the masculine is not there for some reason and that shouldn't be the case okay so for those of you who that resonates it would be wonderful for you to make sure that you get a good dose <laughs> of both there's lots of flowers here. Lavender, essential oil could be very good for you. And everything with, with good balance is, is gonna help you. Because with the Four of Pentacles here, the Four of Pentacles is a need for balance. Usually in the Raider Waite tarot or in different, different decks that illustrate, you know, like characters, you see in the card someone who's really holding on to their money. Like in a way that's defensive, in a way that's maybe not nice, in a way that may be draining or even negative for them. So it's the need to balance how you're spending your money. Don't spend too much or hold on to money too much. Don't save everything or spend everything. Don't give your heart away completely, blindly. Or don't um, kind of like uh, kind of like block all the love. You know, there has to be a middle ground. And I feel like this reading is reminding you to find a middle ground within your feminine and masculine energies. That is basically the message here. <laughs> Pretty much. Thank you for joining me today, Pisces. I love you guys. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your presence in my life. And well, know that all of your donations are seen. I see all of your names and I send all of your little prayers and <laughs> gratitude. And um, it makes me really happy. Like every notification, it's just, it makes my day. And I want to thank you for that. What else? I'm going to leave all the information under this video, you know, my website, the online courses, um, anything that you can possibly need, I'm going to leave it under this video. There's three online courses available at this time. The Abundance Blueprint, so you can heal your relationship with money. The Past Life Regression Course, to heal really stubborn blocks that don't go away with anything. And um, the Tarot Course Level 1, if you would like to learn how to read the cards. I love you, my fishies. I'll see you very soon. Bye.